hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video so this is a tutorial on this puff i have been rocking lately i absolutely love this puff and you guys cannot believe that this is a crochet puff yes i did crochet this puff so if you guys are interested in seeing this look please do continue watching First of all, I'm gonna start off with clean hair and I'm using my leave-in conditioner by Palmas. I also used some parachute coconut oil. Then I went ahead and applied my Eco Styler Gel. I love this stuff, you guys. It does lay my hair down. My hair is very, very thin, so it's not difficult to lay my hair down. But I would suggest you spritz your hair with water when you're applying your gel. Let's say you spritz your hair with water and then follow up with the gel. That way you definitely know that your hair will lay then I follow up and use my demon brush so this is a very good brush for detangling any type of hair then I go ahead and use my bristle brush just to slick the hair down I'm just trying to gather my hair together as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and grab a scrunchie just to tie up my hair. You can see guys, my hair is very, very laid. So one thing when you have natural hair, you have to be generous with the gel. Otherwise, if you are not using a lot of gel, your hair is not going to lay down. You're gonna have a lot of flyaways or the curls popping out. You need to make sure that you're using a lot of gel. So this is the hair that I've used it's by Aftres Afro Kinky Bulk. So I wanted to imitate that natural falsy kinky hair look. So this is what the hair looks like and I didn't want the blunt shaped you know at the top so I trimmed it off and I pulled it you know just to stretch it then I did apply my leave-in conditioner just to make the hair softer I started doing my crochet braids this is just the normal crochet braids I was looping the hair twice at the beginning and then I discovered that this hair was never going anywhere so I started looping it once but you can loop it twice if you do prefer so I'm just gonna continue crochet braiding around my own natural hair ponytail you can see my ponytail in the middle so you're just gonna go around like in circles and making sure that you are doing it right and you are looping and tying it to secure it so i used almost um, the whole pack there was only one piece of hair left from the whole pack because i wanted my fro to be like that bulky and thick i'm just gonna continue doing this you see now i was looping the hair once because i felt like it's the hair wasn't gonna move any Anyway, when you are doing this hairstyle you guys you need to make sure that your hair is completely dry otherwise if it's not completely dry it's just the hair won't stay I would advise you to do this when you have plenty of time plenty of drying this is what I'm doing right now just filling in the gaps so you want to keep filling in the gaps until you can't see your own real ponytail in the middle like i didn't even touch my ponytail because my hair is pretty short anyway so it was easily concealed i could see that my fro wasn't done so i started filling in you know some more strands of hair around the ponytail So the next thing that I do is I grip another strand of hair just like the naturals do you know you know what I'm saying you can see that guys lovely seamless crochet 
ponytail there you can't even tell that it is crochet braided so that is why it is good to use this type of hair because it blends so well with your own hair did not use any scrunchies so I used a piece of hair the next thing that I did I sprayed my Asi Fantasia braid chain just to give my hair a bit of shine so I kept on trimming and you know shaping pinning it down until I got my desired puff so you want to keep doing this until you get your desired puff but don't get too scissor heavy you guys because this puff can definitely go very short and if your hair is long I would suggest that you pin down your own natural hair in the middle otherwise when you're trimming like this you're gonna end up trimming off your own you know ponytail if your hair is longer maybe try to do like a twist one big twist or three strand then pin it down so that you know that it is secure it's not gonna pop out and you're not gonna trim it by accident okay ladies this looks so natural looks like my own real puff it is so good it blends so well with my own natural hair I use the hair in color number one so that it blends with my natural hair because my natural hair is jet black so I wanted it to have a nice flawless kind of look his body baby his body baby this is the hair guys all done loving my puff like yes i'm rocking my puff so i hope you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget thumbs up this video also comment rate share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now